Point clouds for SolidWorks. A line. Here you can see I've loaded a point cloud and applied colour. And it's it's not straight to these planes here. So if I just come out here, so the front plane. Um, it may even be rotated incorrectly. There's a top plane. Um, so no, the, po the point cloud's not aligned correctly. Uh, that's clear to see. So what we could do here is I'm going to use this align tool here it's called align there and it's under this section and that's under the point clouds tab so once loaded uh, first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to select line and turn this on so the pen is now slightly smaller and it has a, a board around it that means we're going to add a line and we also need to make sure we're in 3d sketch mode so accurately as possible although I'm going to do this quickly I'm going to add a line um, I double clicked to finish that just going to turn that off for a second now we can just carry on moving around um, I'm going to do a vertical line always worth making sure the point cloud is dense enough here um, you can do this with the point size is I don't want to end up drawing a vertical line here and selecting points behind it that would then not be a vertical line um, I'm trying to demonstrate that now so line is selected reselect the pen which is add do a vertical line here once I'm happy double click um, turn the pen off again that way I can manipulate here now I can clearly see that I did not select points through this pipe um, and just rechecking the ground one here the one the horizontal one sorry yes I'm happy with that so once I have those make sure the pens off so select the line and using the shift key I'm selecting the vertical so horizontal selected first and then vertical using the shift key use the align option now the point cloud has moved and already just looking here I'm pretty happy with the results to be honest um, yes it may not be orientated correctly but it does seem squared up to the planes so looking here there's my top plane point cloud looks to be upside down um, I just need to rotate around the x-axis so come over to here I'm using this here to see which um, axis I need to rotate so that's the x x is selected could be any of those but in this case it's x now if I rotate that 180 degrees which is the flip option or I could have done 90 degree rotations uh, the flip one just did save me clicking twice um, if we come in now we can see that this looks very good it's squared up so the one last thing I could do in a workflow here is coming to the center um, we have shown this video before but it's the origin option select points select pen pen is highlighted here uh, roughly in the center of the point cloud you could spend more time to do that correctly um, it's just make sure that it's highlighted in blue which it is and click origin now you can see the point cloud is in the center here of our planes and is squared up correctly so if I just accept these chains here if I go to top right plane it is perfect okay so that was using the align option and I finished off with the origin which is shown in a separate video.